Calculating standard cell potentials. Calculate the standard cell potential for the voltaic cell in which the following reaction occurs. We got sodium solid reacting with water to produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Some high school chemistry questions are quite hypothetical and do not necessarily represent actual practical aspects of chemistry. Sodium reacts quite violently with water and so they would not be suitable components of an electrochemical cell. However, we can still calculate a cell potential for this reaction. To help us identify the two half reactions of this redox reaction, write out the equation as a net ionic equation. You can use your data book to assist you here, but you're going to pull out from this equation a reduction half reaction and an oxidation half reaction. Sodium is seen to be losing electrons, and so is oxidized, and is thus the anode. Water looks to be gaining electrons. It's reduced, and is thus the cathode. Convert the re oxidation half-reaction for sodium to a reduction half-reaction. Then use your data book to locate the appropriate reduction potentials for each half-reaction. So while the coefficients of the sodium half-reaction are now different uh, to how they're shown in the net ionic equation, it doesn't make a difference to the reduction potentials. Put up the formula and then we solve as before to reveal the cell's electrical potential. The positive value confirms spontaneity, as well as the position in your data book of liquid water as it relates to sodium metal. Changing the reference half cell. The potential difference between two half cells is determined by subtracting the reduction potentials of each. Those reduction potentials are actually the net potentials that exist between the half reactions and the hydrogen half reaction. As long as all the potentials listed have the same reference half cell, the difference between any two half reactions will be the same no matter the reference half cell. As mentioned before, the hydrogen half reaction is the reference half reaction from which all the potentials listed in your data book are derived. Changing this arbitrarily determined half reaction to another, say the copper half reaction, may change the individual values associated with each half reaction listed, but not the differences between them. That is, the difference between the bromine half-reaction, say, and the cadmium half-reaction will still be 1.47 volts, regardless of what the reference half-reaction is. I'll just put the 1.47 volts in the corner, just to make a point. So if the reference half-cell has been changed to the copper half-reaction, what is the bromine half-reaction potential now? This is the bromine reduction half reaction as shown in your data booklet. The positive 1.07 volts is the electrical potential when the hydrogen half reaction is used as the reference half reaction. This is copper's half reaction and its half reaction potential when hydrogen is the reference half cell is positive 0.34 volts. The difference between the two is 0.73 volts. When copper is the reference half cell, it is assigned a zero potential, but the difference between the copper and bromine half reactions is still 0.73 volts. So that means the half reaction potential for bromine is 0.73 volts. When you look at the table of reduction half reactions, you'll notice the half reaction potentials above the reference half cell are positive, below are negative. Since bromine is positioned above the copper reference half cell, then the cell potential for bromine reduction half reaction is positive 0.73 volts. Now for the cadmium half reaction. 
This is how it appears in your data booklet when hydrogen is the reference cell. The difference between the cadmium and the copper half reactions is 0.74 volts. But when copper is the reference half cell, there is still 0.74 volts between it and the cadmium half reaction. So the cadmium half cell potential is 0.74 volts. And since cadmium is positioned below the copper reference half cell, then the reduction potential for the cadmium half reaction is negative 0.74 volts. So finally, the potential difference between the bromine half reaction and the cadmium half reaction in our bromine cadmium voltaic cell is still positive 1.47 volts not uncoincidentally the same potential difference as when the hydrogen half reaction was the reference half cell.